guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking all about the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette. I have the Pink Suns edition and if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Huda Beauty released recently two highlighting palettes and she calls them 3D highlighting palettes so you can achieve a 3D effect of glow. One is Golden Sands and it's uh, targeted towards the medium to darker skin tones and one is Pink Sands, the one that I've got today and it's targeted more to fair to light, maybe medium a little bit skin tones. The packaging looks like that. I really like that effect, that 3D glow that Huda's eyes and cheek the highlight does it has four steps one two three four three powders and a cream this is the cream where you start and this is capri uh, this is the powder sandorini you put that on top and this is azores this is like the scope you put it under the cheekbones and this is ibiza where you use it as a blush basically and all these the three powders and the cream they create a 3d highlighting effect the ultimate insta glow is now in everyone's grasp inspired by Huda's hack of layering oil with powder highlighting to amplify her glow, this palette is packed with two different textures. The melted strobe, a pearlescent creamy formula and rich with carrot butter to create a flawless lid from within canvas for laying powders. Three light catching pressed pearls staggered in complementary tones to give you a sculptural 3d radiance it retails for 45 usd dollars and it's made in italy it has a magnetic closure it doesn't have a mirror but it tells you how to use these powders it says prep first apply capri as a base to smooth skin and boost light reflecting pigments which is that cream one as we said then set on top of that dab santorini from cheeks to temple to set and bring out the pop which is this one, and then sculpt, apply Azores under cheekbones to add dimension and shape, which is this one, and the last one, the Ibiza, flush. Sweep Ibiza on the apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow. Now I'm going to swatch it for you. This is um, Capri, this is the only cream. This is Santorini. This is Azores and this is Ibiza. So we have Capri, Santorini, Azores and Ibiza. And I will put on top of um, Capri Santorini so you can have a look how it looks. I have like Santorini here so that's how it looks. I will put Azores, right? This is Azores and I will put Ibiza in between. Do you see? So we have Capri, Santorini on top, Azores and Ibiza in the middle. I don't know if you're able to see the 3D effect that they're talking. Let's start with the demo and I will come back and share my thoughts. I'm going to use it according to these steps here. So first I'm going to grab this color here, the Capri, and because it's like a cream color like that, I'm going to just pat it. Right. Just as I would a cream highlighter. No highlight, just the cream. Then I'm taking another brush and I'm going with Santorini. So I'm gonna put it on top. I'm gonna just get a little bit. I brought the pop. I think I did. And uh, third, I'm applying the scalp color, which is this, under the cheekbones, right? That's with Azores. At the end, 
I'm getting the flush Ibiza and it's a sweep Ibiza on the apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow, like a blush. So I'm getting a blush brush. And this is the final result. When I saw it on Instagram, I was really, really excited because um, I do like a lot of products of Huda Beauty. I do like her liquid lipsticks, which I'm wearing one today. Which one I'm wearing? Let's see. I'm wearing um, I'm wearing Icon, and on top of that, I just dab in the middle a little bit of the Azores to give it that a little bit more dimension as well. I absolutely love it. I do, as you saw per the demo, you 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 can achieve definitely a 3D look. My only concern is, like a couple of things, um, that this cream powder, I would prefer it to, have, to come with a separate cup because, generally speaking, I don't like to have cream textures and powder textures in the same palette, just in case, you know, sometimes some of the powder will kick up in the cream, you know what I mean. And another thing is, if you're really, really fair, that cream texture, I don't know how much of a highlight will be for you, if you know what I mean. But then again, you can use a small amount of that and can uh, put um, Santorini on top. Or you can use only Santorini. I've used all the powders on their own. I used uh, the cream on, on its own. I used the Santorini on its own. And it's beautiful. Um, I really like the whole idea. Um, I really like how the powders look. Um, I really like the 3D effect that it gives. I, I don't think it has been it has done before. One other thing that I need to say, guys, is if you suffer from texture and you have larger pores, it does emphasize a little bit, you know, of larger pores and texture. Or you have to start with little. Don't be like heavy-handed as I was. But what usually I do with any highlighter after I finish apply the highlighter, I get like um. A, a blending brush and I just buff it even without the powder I don't need to use a powder I just buff it a little bit so it won't look look as harsh harsh lines if you know what I mean now of course for the purpose of the, this video I went like all out I wanted to be like super super glory to see what can I achieve with these powders and you can achieve glory you can like Seriously, people, they can see you from, um, as I said before, from outer space. You can achieve also a subtle look. I like the versatility of the product. I like that um, it hasn't been done before. And you do get that 3D effect that she's talking about. So it is definitely thumbs up for me. Um, I really like it. I like the picture of Huda. I do like the magnetic closure. Of course, I would do prefer to have a mirror here. And maybe to have these steps on the back or somewhere else I don't know but that's that's a small thing I wore it for eight hours it did last pretty good I used it on my eyes as well um, I have now on my inner corners a little bit of the Azores and the Santorini I'm really really happy with these purchase but bear in mind guys that we are all different and this is only my opinion and it depends what you like too I do like a glow as you know like when I see highlighter, I get excited. I get really, really excited, if you know what I mean. I hope you get me right. That's where all my thoughts about the, the Huda Beauty 3D highlighting palette. Please share your thoughts below. Let me know what you think, if you tried it or if you like it or not. I really love reading your comments. They make my day. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic, fantastic day, whatever you do. Until next time, bye.